I'm not gonna lie. I've been missing YouTube Rewind. Like it just felt like a really nice way to wrap up the year, especially in an age where the internet is so important. It's where the term internet culture comes from. You would just take everything that happened in the year, events, memes, put it all into one entertaining video and be like, okay, on to the next year. And without it, everything just feels so open-ended. There's no closure. And I know there wasn't one in 2020, obviously, because of the pandemic. There's obviously not gonna be one in 2021 either. So I just felt like I had to go back in time and reminisce. In 2018, it was really popular to hate on the YouTube Rewind. But looking back on it now, it isn't saying much because I barely remember anything about it. It wasn't even that bad. Now, did I dislike it? Yes. What can I say? I'm a trend follower. I want it to be cool. Now, were there some cringy moments? Yes. Were there some unnecessary moments? Also, yes. However, I think overall, it just wasn't that bad. It's kind of like a snowball effect where one person says it was bad, it gains traction, then just keeps rolling and rolling, and now everyone says it's bad because it's a trend. Now the 2019 Rewind, that was bad. I can't deny that. That was trash, terrible. But I feel like we can't say that wasn't the consequences of our actions because even in the video, it just seems so shady. In 2018, we made something you didn't like. So in 2019, let's see what you did like because you're better at this than we are. Is that, I mean, at the time, I don't think anyone else saw it, but that sounded threatening to me. YouTube was basically like, let's give them what they want. They don't want us anymore. We don't care. Give them the shittiest rewind ever. And they did it. And now, since then, we haven't gotten any rewinds, so... Was it worth it? Was it really worth all the hate in 2018? But yeah, since the end of the year, I just wanted to go back and see what made the 2018 rewind so bad and see whether or not I like it now. Oh, and before we go on to that, I just want to say, isn't it so ironic how the 2018 rewind was titled Everyone Controls Rewind and then we all hated it and then 2019 we actually got to control rewind we all hated it even more all right so we're having some technical difficulties my airpods decided not to work today so we're not using those i'm gonna use my bulky headphones don't make fun of them okay let's get into the video oh there's my dislike ah uh, it's rewind time you know if i control rewind I would want Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. Is this what you wanted? You know who I would have asked for? Quit horsing around. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I see how that was cringy. I really do. Mm -hmm. But you can't deny how popular Fortnite was back in 2018. It was like the biggest game. Probably still is the biggest game. But it was like... Ninja. The bus driver. Stop horsing around! It could have gone about a really different way. I think what made that moment so bad was like that it was Ninja's first rewind. So he's, he's, not, he's not an actor, okay? I'm gonna cut him from slack there. I'm so bad, I broke my headphones, too. Is this Marcus? Quiero a Liza. Oh! Yeah! So guys, apparently we control Rewind this year. Y'all, we can do whatever we want. What do we do? There's one thing this video needs. K-pop! Okay. Now, this is the part that became a meme. The one that everybody made fun of. I honestly think what made this part so bad is you can include K-pop, because K-pop was really big in 2018. Nobody can deny that. However, 
Why are there no K-pop idols? Huh? You too? I mean, you can afford all these people. And I mean, they're not very known, so they're pretty cheap, but it's like, where's the K-pop idols, YouTube? And now I have to think about it. Did all these YouTubers actually get to control Rewind? Like now it's just a thought in my, like a question that I have to ask. But I think what happened was you had way too many thoughts smashing together. Everybody wanted to do a separate thing. So it's like the transition from Fortnite to K-pop was just really bad. And now I have, now I have them dancing. I can't imagine them actually being in a room learning this dance. So then it's just like, why not hire actual K-pop idols? You do. You have money. You could, you could have afforded. Let's be honest. Will y'all a hot pet have? Yeah, but you're marrying Bongo Cat. Part of us. There's too much. I mean, Amir should have watched the other rewinds. Get like the general feel of of what people want. Cause like I'm gonna be honest, I've only watched watched like three max. 16, 17, and 18. So I don't know what made the other past years so good. What if what I'm saying here, there's way too much going on. Fortnite, K-pop, real wedding. Rewind needs more science. Can we do an experiment? Love that, melting lipstick. Okay, now that part was good. I can't deny that that was good. I think what makes Rewind shine when it's done right is combining things and making them make sense together. Science, makeup tutorials, melting lipstick. Makeup is science. Who is Marshmallow? How about Yodeling Kid? <laughs> Without a ripper! the dancing stop with the dancing please say you never believe from beside me cuz i want you and i need you and i'm down for you always baby now what i will say is i don't have anything against trevor noah but it's like youtube rewind let's keep it to youtubers Cause like, why is there a night show? I think there's more in here actually if i remember correctly, but why are there night show hosts in here? Like I feel like they could do their own thing because what do they have to do with YouTube other than their videos of being on YouTube? Like, those are TV shows. This is YouTube Rewind. That right there. Now, while I think at the end, Rewind should be entertaining, that is true. However, I think what distinguishes this one from the, of the rest is that maybe they're trying too hard to be funny. I think the line between funny and cringy is very thin. But even then, there are subsets of cringe, like good cringe. Good cringe is sometimes good, it's in the name. Like obviously with this, they're trying to appeal to like teens and kids, because obviously with all these YouTubers, which I'm guessing their audiences are mostly children. They're trying to be funny. It's the easiest way to appeal to children, be funny. But it's like when you do too much funny at once, that's when it starts to be cringy. That's just the fact that like, I feel like a lot of stuff is being thrown in my face. I'm not being like led through the year. It feels like everything's being thrown all at once. Oh, and I gotta say, the inclusion of like the animation YouTubers, that was good. However, not to diss them, but I feel like what people want is like real people. Plus like they were just way they weren't utilized well. Their content focuses on storytelling and stuff. And it's like, you could have included that somehow into the YouTube video, like what I would have done if I was YouTube, but I'm not YouTube, but YouTube, if you want to invite me to come direct the next YouTube Rewind, or just be in it, I'm right here. Have the storytelling animation YouTubers tell the story with their animations, but use the actual real people YouTubers to act them out rather than use drawings, or maybe use them both at the same time. Are we catching it, YouTube? I mean, you can use it for free, but credit me. 
ensinou. Ou que aprendeu alguma coisa nesse ano. Todos nós deveríamos enviar um saludo a los niños que seguem seus sonhos. Eu quero agradecer a toda a comunidade que sempre apoia em buenas e malas. Quita a la cuarga. Quita a la tín. A la aila é tudo isso. I want to give a moment to everyone who supported me when I got sick. All of the comments and messages I got made me feel like I wasn't alone. We're forgetting something. I think we should read the comments. Yeah, I have a feeling this is about to get a little bit crazy. Let's give the people what they want. And I know it's about to get really shitty, about to get really bad really fast. What makes this video so rough is that the, I think it's transitions. What they did really bad this year were transitions because you can't go talk about mental health and representation, all that stuff, and then transition to which, if I'm from right, we're about to transition into more Fortnite and the baby shark dance. You can't have those same things, in the, you, can, you can't have those in the video all at once. That's how I feel. I mean, you can be serious and funny, but the transition to each was really bad. Amy Chamberlain. portion of the video I was talking about. I think maybe there was a bit too much Fortnite. So we cut that out. Maybe shit. Let me think of trends that were going on in 2018. That was a Tide Pod year, wasn't it? I think it was. No, maybe that was too serious. Actually, no. Tide Pod eating was stupid. So, if you can take that and make it funny or make fun of it, I think that would have been good for Rewind. Because this isn't. It's too much Fortnite. Also, random fact. That song, Happy by Marshmallow, carried my mental health in 2018. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's a really good song, okay? There's too much dancing. Was there always, I mean, I probably have to look back at the other YouTube rewinds because if there was always that, that much dancing, but there's too much dancing. I think if you wanted to do a lot of dancing, you could have had K-pop idols doing dances in the video, but you didn't. Even then, I'm pretty sure they're like dancing YouTubers. I'm not on that side of YouTube, but it's like, hey, invite them to do the dancing. I don't know, YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. I need to hear that again. <laughs> now, this part was, I think, the meme of 2019. I think, regardless of what you have to say about this video, or YouTube in general, this video had probably, I think, over 10, which is a lot, over 10 memes from one video. Regardless of what YouTube was seeking to achieve, they did something. They failed successfully, is all I'm gonna say. But I think the biggest problem in this rewind is that not everything meshed well together. They weren't really trying to combine anything it was all just like stuffing it all, stuffing as many things into one video as much as possible and just throwing it at the audience. I remember really liking the 2017 Rewind and looking at the comments 
looks like they did as well. So I just gotta watch it to see what made the 2018 one so bad compared to this one. Welcome back to YouTube Rewind. We've got two special guests with us. Okay, Layla and Liza, tell me about 2017. You see? I was right, see? Dancing is a thing in YouTube Rewinds. They always do dances. However, the difference is they use actual dancers in this one as compared to 2018 where they just had random YouTubers doing dances. <laughs> Something about seeing Vanoss took me back. I'm still subscribed to him. But those were the days, I feel young again. This YouTube, I mean, maybe because I'm watching it like four years into the future now, but this it makes me feel nostalgia for a time that has passed. 2018 just didn't do that for me. I feel young again watching this. 2018 was like, haha, laugh now, move on. You watch 2018 for quick laughs and then move on. You watch 2017 to really go back in time. They evoke really different emotions. You see that? Transitions. Smooth transitions. Also, I forgot, but paintball fights were really popular in 2017. I, I think they were. There were a lot of paintball challenges. I don't feel like I'm being, everything's being thrown at me all at once. It feels like I'm being led through the year 2017, where I'm watching this and we're going like, oh, I remember that. Oh, I forgot about that. I, that didn't happen with 2018. It just felt different. such good times. I forgot about this trend. And see, it keeps happening. I'm just like, oh, I forgot about this. That was such a good memory. And also, I just gotta go back again, cause look at this. The transition into the next trend. back into the trend. I'm, I'm, I'm sounding repetitive, I know. I really am sounding repetitive, even though I know it. But you see this? Now I see why 2018 was bad. Not the worst, well, the worst, but not as bad as made it out to be. But you just compare to this, where everything flows so seamlessly. I'm not being dragged along, or they're trying to show you as many things as possible and be like, okay, like the video. I don't know, maybe there's somebody different who worked on it. There probably was, but it really does show. It really does. Team 10. I forgot. This was the, actually no, it was 2018. See, also, 2018, 2018 was the year of diss tracks. Did you see a single reference to a diss track in the 2018 Rewind? And that is why it did not do as good. Also, this just reminded me that I, I went through, a, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't a Team 10 fan, Per se, however, I was I was kinda kinda a Jake Paul fan back in 2017, 2018. 
It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't my best era. I'm not proud of it, but it was really fun. That's what I do have to say, it was really fun. I remember going through his little iPhone giveaway multiple times, thinking I would win. I, I, I never won, I never did, I never won, but it was still fun, fun time. Logan's little click. And then you have a lot of people from Vine, Lily Ponds. I forgot the names of the rest, I'm sorry. But they really ran YouTube for a while, and it was crazy. <sighs> I'm getting so nostalgic. Oh. I was about to dab. I got it wrong. Sorry guys, looks like you were interrupted there. You were about to tell me about 2017? <sighs> it was, uh... It was good. Okay. Okay, we're done. I really do see the differences, and YouTube Rewind, most likely it's because past December 6th, we still haven't gotten anything yet. So it's most likely just not gonna happen this year. But if things for the pandemic start looking better next year, I do re really do wanna see, I really do miss YouTube Rewind. Cause like, there were some legitimate criticisms of the 2018 Rewind, and it felt like instead of listening, they just said, we don't care, and they gave us trash. Like, even they knew, I'm not gonna say, actually, trash, killing a trash was mean. I'm sorry, YouTube, I'm sorry. But they really gave up on the, on the 2019 one. They just gave us a countdown, basically, of ranking, and said, this is good. I feel like e even they knew it was bad and they still just posted it anyways and called it a day. And then, probably surprised when that one did bad as well. Anyways, YouTube, most of the stuff I said in this video was a joke. I don't think it's serious. I was just playing. Now, if you could put my channel on the homepage so it actually blow up. <laughs> 